Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, you will be learning about what is scalability testing. In this video, you will be learning in detail about scalability testing. Before moving further to understand what is all about scalability testing, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. So let us move on and understand what is all about scalability testing. The scalability testing we also call it as a non-functional testing. It is not a functional testing, it's a purely a non-functional testing. The main intent of this scalability testing is to test. It is to test to find out how the application or a product scales with the increased load in terms of it could be user or it could be data to the application. Let's take an example of Flipkart. If you are seeing big billion days, there are millions of people who will be accessing the now as the user loads gets increased or the number of transactions gets increased they should understand whether their web application works as expected or not in order to find out that let's say before they launching the big billion days season they should ensure that they make a clear understanding these many people they might access their Amazon website during a given day or during a given time. That means they should they should do the complete testing to see whether their application really cope ups to the user load or to the data load. So in order to test those aspects they should do the scalability testing. So normally they do the scalability testing before they really come up, they really come up with the, the big uh, big billion days. Hence scalability testing is very crucial especially if your application or products is looking for big user base or big transactional data then they should definitely perform scalability scalability testing and scalability testing is also called as a performance testing the scalability testing is also called as a performance testing just to ensure that all the performance aspect of the application is as per the accepted uh, requirement then let us understand what are the benefits of the scalability testing. What are the benefits of scalability testing means? In scalability testing we are going to simulate we are going to simulate the application or the product for a given user traffic or data volume just to ensure that whether application really behaves as expected or, or they are well within the prescribed or projected user base or the transaction volume. So that is the purpose of scalability testing and we will be testing just to ensure that whether application really can scale up to the expected mark. That is the first benefit. It also ensures that as we are performing the, the load for the user and transactions whether application really can cope up to the only certain levels of user. After that, the application will break. That means that guarantees that with this kind of infrastructure, with this kind of uh, infrastructure, with this kind of uh, user pattern, application application can only withstand to the these many users. After that, application would collapse. That is the thing you can find out using this scalability testing and also you will also be able to find out the client side or server side breaking there are many people start accessing the application it may break at the client level or at the 
server side level that is also you can find out very easily by testing or by using the scalability testing aspects and it can easily find out it cannot withstand the application behind the threshold that means we can only have the application working only for particular load if you would like to increase the user base or transaction base then you have to try with various different kinds of infrastructure where you should add up more cpu you should add up more hardware in that way still you can scale right so that is the aspect you are going to test and also you are going to test in terms of uh, whether you should fine tune the sql queries db queries just to ensure that it brings the optimization in the db queries when you are optimizing the cpu utilization of the system or memory utilization it will go drastically down in that way system can accommodate some more users so this kind of uh, different testing also will be done as part of scalability testing and that would give a lot of benefits then let us understand what all the parameters will be watching when you are performing scalability testing the main thing which will be normally look into that is response time especially think about amazon if you are open amazon.in or .com within few seconds if you don't get the website or an app that means you will feel frustrated and you won't be doing any operations or just you dump that site and you will move on to some other competitors hence the response time is very crucial and this is the first parameters normally you will be testing scalability for response the second is throughput throughput is a second parameter will be testing it and third is session timeout so how much time it is taking for every transaction how much time is taking for every operation those things will be validating as part of session time and transaction time how much time per every transaction it takes and all the above response time throughput session time transaction time will be validating for the user load essentially we'll start with 100 users then 1000 user then 10000 1 lakh 1 million so user will be will be loading the system with the users in different perspective means in a staggered approach and you will be taking up the readings response time throughput session time and transaction time so in that way you will be capturing all the parameters for scalable scalability testing during different loads you will also be validating the network usage how the network has been used when the different load has been uh, loaded into the application in terms of user or in terms of transactions then we will be watching the network usage whether network is really peaking or not so all those things will be validating as part of the scalability testing and also you will be watching the processor usage where server is deployed and during performing of the scalability testing as the user load get increases you will be watching the network usage you will be watching the processor usage and as well as memory usage of the application or a system just to ensure that they should be well within the range if something it is peaking up then we will have to see what all the parameters what all the things we should fine tune in the application it could be db or it could be application or server side or client side you should fine tune even after fine tuning if application is not able to scale that means you should bring higher capacity of infrastructure so that still application can scale because all the processor or all the memory or network you have increased increase their bandwidth that means you should be able to still scale further because of increased in the infrastructure capacity so these are the some of the important aspects of scalability testing which we are going to perform as part of scalability testing
I hope you're able to get hold of what is all about scalability testing, what are the benefits of scalability testing, and what are the parameters which you'll be watching when you are performing scalability testing. I hope uh, you really understood what is all about scalability testing. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click on like button and if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as in when we publish our new video that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.